I part it off into three or four sections. So I just go like this and then twist it up and clip it. I use is um, the Babyliss one inch <clears throat> curling iron. And I take a section about that big. I twist once and kind of go down and then pull it straight down. And I don't usually alternate curl or anything. So I don't, I leave about two inches of hair out on the ends and again, pull straight down. And that's how I get my flat loose waves. Um, sometimes if you get too curly, you can run a straightener over it. And I have my heat setting at, um, it's about 350 because my hair curls pretty easily. On my bottom sections, I tend to grab big chunks because I'm usually in a hurry, but um, on the bottom, I feel like it doesn't really matter as much because you don't see it. So, I do that all the way around. Okay, so I got done with the bottom layer and it's just kinda, <clears throat> the ends are straight and just one curl in each section. So then I take another section and do the same thing. Um, when I curl, I curl everything back away and then I get to the middle back of my hair and just um, switch directions. So I just did my um, second layer and there's right here needs recurled. If you see any pieces that just need maybe two spins like that, just go for it if you want a little extra curly. It usually takes me about 10 to 15 minutes to do my hair because I don't have a lot. In this last section, there's more hair over here on this side because I part my hair. So I usually just split it right here. <clears throat> And then I don't do a, def a definite part. I like more of the um, kind of messy look, I guess. I don't like straight parts. I don't know, just preference. So then I basically go around and do the same thing. When I get to the front of my hair, I like to straighten these front framing, framing pieces around my face so these aren't all like kind of I have a little bit of a wave to my hair okay and that is my third layer so you can see it's just kind of loose waves everywhere and then I will drop this down and this piece I don't want it to split, so I curl it just straight back. Last piece, so I'm straightening this back to give me some lift too, so it's not glued to my head. And I'll scoot down to the ends, twist, and pull straight down. And that's kind of basically what I do. This piece needs touched up. It's a longer piece, so I kind of do a curl and a half. But I still leave about two inches out from the end, about two inches from my regrowth. Okay, so there's that. And then I let it cool down and go through and spray it with a nice smelling hairspray. This one has, it's a Paul Mitchell Marula oil and it smells so good. It's kind of a nice working spray, but you can literally just smell it all day long. So there is that. Um, typically if you have longer hair, I would run my uh, wide tooth comb through it, but I don't and I want volume. And if it feels too clean, I usually um, spray dry shampoo through it or um, like the, the root boost powders that you can sprinkle in your hair. So we'll just tease that 
and spray a little bit. And then let that fall back. And then I do the sides. And spray. kind of just work my fingers through it all and shake it out a little bit after that I go through with a hairspray and a hard or medium hold hairspray and just um, kind of lock it in and give it a little more volume but that is how I do my curls